Hey, brother, have you figured out what teacher meant by one is all and all is one? <sighs> I've been thinking about it this whole time, but I still only have a few vague ideas. I'm not really sure about this, but do you remember when I was weak from hunger and I ate those ants? You ate a lot of them. <laughs> I sure did, and boy did they taste nasty. But then that got me thinking. If I hadn't eaten them, I might have died. Then I would have been eaten by them. I'd go into the earth and become grass. And then the rabbits would eat that. You're talking about the food chain, right? Yeah, but it's not just that, either. A long time ago, this whole island was probably at the bottom of the sea. And tens of thousands of years from now, it could be the peak of a mountain for all we know. All things are connected. Is that what you're saying? Everything we see, everyone we meet, is caught up in a great unseen flow. But it's bigger than that. It's the entire world, the entire universe even. And compared to something as big as that, Al, you and I are tiny, not even the size of ants. We're only one small part within the much greater flow. Nothing more than a fraction of the whole. But by putting all those ones together, you get one great all, just like teacher said. The flow of this universe follows laws of such magnitude that you and I can't even imagine